In this video, I decided to travel more closely to home. In fact, to my hometown of Pontypridd. Pontypridd, as well as being a universally in market town, is a principal town of Rhondda and Taff, and is situated about 12 miles north of the Welsh capital city of Cardiff. Pontypridd is often abbreviated as Ponty by local residents. Pontypridd is famous for its old bridge, a stone construction across the River Taff, built in 1756 by William Edwards. This was Edwards' fourth attempt, as the previous three bridges collapsed. To prevent the collapse of his fourth attempt, Edwards decided to reduce weight by incorporating three holes either end of the bridge. At the time of construction, the bridge was the longest single-span stone arch bridge in the world. The bridge is now statutory protection as a scheduled ancient monument and is Grade 1 listed. Apart from the old bridge, Pontypridd is also noted for its famous people, such as Tom Jones, the singer. Senior sitting on the old bridge and two great operatic singers, Sir Gerrind Evans and Stuart Burroughs. A new bridge, the Victoria Bridge, paid for by public subscription, was built adjacent to the old one in 1857. Other notable features was the railway station. The main platform was the world's longest island platform, a station platform surrounded by tracks and it opened in 1907. And in St. Harald Park. In the park there is a memorial to Evans James and his son James James, who wrote the Welsh National Anthem. Ian Ladvin had I. Evan James and his son James James were weavers who lived in Pontypridd when they composed the national anthem in 1856. The park is one of the jewels of Pontypridd, a large green area accompanied by sunken gardens, well maintained flower beds. and a play area for the little ones. In the park you will find Pontypridd Swim Pool, built in 1927 had fallen into disrepair by the 1980s, resulting in its closure in 1991. After its restoration completed in 2015, it has now become the National Lido of Wales. Since the days I drove buses around the old town, there has been a lot of changes in Pontypridd. Old buildings have been replaced. By modern ones. Yes, Pontypridd has changed since I was a child, but progress is inevitable. Thanks for watching. Bye.